Roswell Flight Test Crew here. Today we'll be flight testing the O2 from GDU, the Global Drone Union. To see our unboxing and setup, be sure to check out our previous video. What'd you do to it? Nothing. So before we even take off, I have to tell you one thing about the O2, and that is that this thing gets GPS lock faster than any drone I've ever worked with. It's really pretty impressive. You power it up, and a few seconds later you get the all clear, you're ready to fly. So we have two ways to take off with the O2. You can press and hold the auto takeoff button, or you can pull both sticks down into the center and then throttle up with the left stick. So here we have a look at the GPS position hold in a hover. And as you can see, it's doing a pretty good job. I have noticed when the wind picks up, it can move around a little bit, but it's still steady enough that you can rely on it. So here you can see the O2 flying around in normal mode. And as you can see, it moves pretty good. Now, one thing I've noticed is that if you push full input on a stick and then let go, it'll tend to continue drifting, sometimes quite some distance in that same direction, 10, 15 feet maybe. So you really need to be aware of that and be especially cautious if you're flying in close quarters. First couple of times you take this drone up, I definitely suggest you have a wide open sky to work with. Now this isn't necessarily a bad thing because it can lend like a nice smooth finish to a camera move, for example, but you definitely need to be aware of it. So now let's go ahead and switch it over to sport mode and wow, <laughs> this thing really rips in sport mode. So uh, not sure how the video is going to look, but you could really throw this thing around and that's fun. So you've got an example of how the two modes compare. We're going to conduct an aerial drag race now. On the upper portion of the screen, you've got normal mode. On the lower portion of the screen, you've got sport mode. It's impressive to have a machine vision collision avoidance system in a drone at this price point, less than $750, compared to the Auto Evo at $999, or even more for the Mavic Pro Platinum. And the collision avoidance works well. If you get too close to an object, you get a warning on your display, and if you get even closer, it prevents you from moving forward at all. Here's a sample of video from onboard the aircraft, using the camera's automatic settings. Now, like the Parrot Bebop 2, the O2 records its video and still images to internal memory. It's got 16 gigabytes on board, which you can download either through the app or by connecting the drone through a USB cable to your computer. Now keep in mind, if you're shooting 4K video, you're gonna rip through that 16 gigabytes pretty quick. And next up is my favorite part, the gimbal torture test, where you can see for yourself how good a job it does at stabilizing the image. Next up, we have our flight endurance test. So that's the flight test of the O2 from GDU. To keep up with the latest on drones, be sure to click subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Fly safe. <laughs>